I was actually really nervous doing this because. Oh, there you go. It detached. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't really like cats. I'm a dog person. So this took a lot for me to do. <laughs> and we weren't really sure if we were breaking FAA rules either. But this poor cat had been up on this roof forever. It's gonna be over their shoulders. And everything was flooded. Those are the Moffat Stockyards. So we had the drone. UA Fort Smith came out with their drone program. Look at the floodwaters. Man, that's just crazy. We knew the cat was hungry though. And uh, Fort Smith PD came out, helped us. How do you feel, Gary? And, um, we didn't know if it would work. I think what we did is we devised like the styrofoam cup or something. No, it was, it was, a, you know, it was just a cup with string on it that, was, that had a zip tie on it. And when, we, when it hit the ground, it should have detached. And that's, that's how it works. So the cat got fed on the roof, which was uh, really, the cat can have some food. really interesting. So that's what we're able to do right now. This <laughs> is just crazy food. that we're able to pull this off. I just think it's cool that we're able to do unique things like that and think on the fly. So um, it was an opportunity there. Poor cat had been stuck on a roof. So um, why not just use the drone to give it food? I mean, it's thinking outside the box, and um, it was it was fun. It was it was a neat way to to help out a, a little friend like that on a roof, and um, really again just show kind of how the community comes together as a whole. And I think that they even rescued that cat at some point.